So hopefully you've now mastered the C and F chord and have practiced changing between the two chords, which is really tricky. So let's learn a new chord, the G7 chord. Now it starts exactly the same way that we did for F, finger closest to your thumb on the third string down between the bridge and the first fret. This is where it gets a bit tricky. Your middle finger goes on the second string down between the first and second fret, and this is the really tricky bit. Your next finger goes on that bottom string between frets one and two as well, so all your fingers are really squished together. Now if your hand's not really curved, you're going to struggle to get the right sound. And instead of sounding like that, it might sound a bit more like this. You get that. You get that sound. So a really curved hand for your thumb on the back will help. So once more, G7 chord, finger closest to your thumb on the third string down between the bridge and the first fret. Middle finger, second string down between first and second fret. And your next finger goes on the bottom string between frets one and two as well. Now you've learned three chords, C, F, and G7. There's loads of songs you can play, and it'll be a lot more fun from now on. The song that we're gonna look at today is Three Little Birds. Don't worry about a thing. Singing don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Rise up this morning Smile with the rising sun Three little birds Pitch by my doorstep Singing sweet songs During this piece, during the chorus section, you just need to play C and F, so that bit's nice and easy for you now you've learnt those chords. When you get to the verse, the rise up this morning, that's the tricky bit when you add that G7 chord in. So you might have to spend a bit of time before playing the song actually just practicing changing between those chords. Good luck!